The truth is out there and we are always trying to find it. Some kind of Bigfoot spotted stalking in a forest. Strange ghostly apparitions. Or finding a forest full of missing persons listings. Stay tuned and we'll look at each. The video we are looking at is a CCTV footage from a store. Even from the start things seem to look strange. The footage of the supermarket was quiet and still, until it wasn't. That's about when I developed the knot in my stomach. Suddenly, fruits went dropping off the shelves, basket trolleys rolled, and doors started shaking violently. It was almost as if the entity was a child, playing and rolling the oranges around innocently. Whatever it was, didn't seem too aggressive. In fact, it seemed rather playful, like it was happy to have the run of the place. The shadow at the end, however, was a little too sinister for comfort. And I always find CCTV footage like this intriguing. It does not appear to be tampered with in any way. The pixels are clear. And I definitely can't find any rational interpretation for the events. This third video shows the perspective of a man and its horse close to something that terrified both of them. The horse especially sounding scared. The man heard some strange noises in the forest and started recording in the hopes that he would have something to impress his friends. He soon spots something behind the tree, trying to hide from his view. As he zooms in on the tree, we can quickly see a figure with a strange grey head peeking at him, but quickly going back into hiding. The horseman quickly left the place as he was not sure what to expect of this encounter. So what did he see? Was that some sort of alien, the rake, or just someone playing a prank on us? The development of the Maya train has built both excitement and controversy. During its development, a number of anomalies have been both spotted and experienced. And the president of Mexico shared his mystical creature sightings. This photo is a stone depiction of Aluxe, a mythical and implied creature. They are believed to be guardians of forests, woods and other natural environments. And this one is a photographed sighting of a strange and small creature high in a tree. And people believed that this creature could be an Aluxe. An Aluxe standing by and guarding its territory as it slowly destroyed to make way for the new train. The glowing eyes is a frightening sight, but remains a fierce and loyal adversary to the technological development. In this video we can see someone driving through the night as everything is recorded from an onboard camera. The situation itself is scary enough, imagine having to drive a motorcycle through the night in a place such as this one, with no sign of civilization, no lights and nobody else on the road. As he is driving, at some point we can start seeing something in the distance. A white figure appears close to the edge of the road. For some reason, the driver continues to drive past it, and we can see that the figure appears to be a woman dressed in a white robe. I don't know if the driver should have stopped to make sure it isn't a person who actually needs help, but given the circumstances and how scary everything seemed to be, I think I would have continued to drive as well. This is footage from a South American hospital and it has been getting a lot of attention because of how bizarre the clip is. What you will see is happening at night, when not many people would be visiting. The guard takes out a clipboard and removes the barrier while continuing to look into a single direction. He seems to be writing something down, while also clearly pointing and seeming to discuss something. He points down the hallway as indicating something to someone, even though no one is there with him. From another camera we can see the guard heading for a wheelchair and presenting it as if waiting for someone to sit on it. He proceeds to push down the hallway the empty wheelchair, but then quickly returns. In the morning, upon being asked what happened during that night, the guard said that around 3am an elderly woman entered the lobby claiming to have left something in her room, room 915. He did his duty and wrote down her name and the purpose of the visit. He offered her a wheelchair to help her head to the room, but apparently he was rejected by the woman. 
He continues and says that after a while noticing the woman has not returned, he called the ward to check, but was told that no one visited the ward. And when discussing with the other staff, he gave the details of the woman and was told that the woman staying in room 915 died on that night, a few hours before. So what really happened here? Is this just a story? And if that is the case, then why did the guard react like this? Why was he pointing and talking to someone that was clearly not there? This short clip is from Scotland, from a camera that was set up to film some animals from that area. The original clip was much longer, but this bit that you are seeing is perhaps the most intriguing part. In this clip, we can notice something strange happening in the trees on the left, so pay close attention to that area. At first, there is nothing going on, just water rolling downstream. But suddenly, we can start to see some weird movement on the left. I know it can be hard to see, so here is what can be seen when we zoom in. There is some strange ghostly figure there, next to the trees. I don't know if this is a glitch of the camera, but it does look strange. And as I said, the clip was longer and this anomaly could not be seen before. If anyone knows what is that, let me know in the comments. In our first video, a motion-activated night vision camera in Sydney, Australia, picked up some intriguing movement. The camera was triggered by a motion in the bottom left side of the frame, and although there is plenty of leaves and bush blowing in the wind, the object seems to be of significant size. The video claims to be unedited at first, and there's for sure something present but it isn't clear what. Two large eyes can be seen, as well as a huge head that appears to be looking around. Even when the video is edited and cleaned up a bit, there is no real clarification at what we're looking at exactly. It does look spooky however, like a ghostly apparition, which also seems to be moving its head at some point in the video. So what are we looking at? What did trigger the motion detector? Is it a ghost? an alien or just some kind of animal that was hiding from the camera. This video was taken by a person who was exploring the forest of Amherst and they were extremely surprised, if not terrified, by what they found. A structure made of branches in the middle of the forest. At first look, you could say that it was made by kids trying to play or by a person who got lost in the woods and needed the shelter for the night. But when the person recording the video got closer, they saw different small twigs tied up in different formations, as if trying to create strange symbols out of them. And what is scarier, at the end of the video, the person recording also spots a person running away in the woods, but they decide not to pursue. What I have to say about this video is that Amherst has been known for rituals and weird sightings. So I am inclined to think that this might be the doing of a person who believes in all that. But what do you think? What was all that? We can see the strange thing a man found on his trail cam recording. In the middle of the forest at night, a strange clown suddenly appeared in front of the trail camera. The camera was set up in the middle of the forest where no human should have been, especially not a creepy looking clown. Even more scary, he seems to be holding something resembling a knife. And as creepy as this one is, such sightings appear to be becoming more and more frequent. There are many sightings of people dressed in clowns running after people or cars in order to give them a scare. Many do it just for fun and adrenaline. But if you ask me, I think it is just plain dangerous for both sides. But what do you think? Would such sightings scare you? It's the middle of the night on a deserted road. There are no lights save for the headlights of your vehicle. You can see something odd and out of place coming up in the distance. This driver was pragmatic in this event and managed to get whatever it was on the camera. Given how many accounts there are of people seeing ghosts, specters and other such anomalies on the side of the road, I am inclined to trust this source. There have been plenty of stories of spirits that have supposedly ridden in people's cars, only to disappear once they arrive at their destination. The driver of this video 
can be grateful for their supposedly mild experience. This video is from a police officer's body cam who was called to investigate the house for any intruders, as reported by the neighbors. They hear loud bangs in the house and start to investigate every room to find the source. As the officer goes upstairs, he sees the door to the room open and thinks he's seeing someone. Anyone inside, make yourself known. The door opens and he proceeds towards it, but he cannot find anyone in the room and decides to leave. As he is going downstairs, this happens. The officer thinks he's heard something and goes back to check, but can't find anyone again. The police officers, now scared to the bone and having no idea what is going on, decide not to check the house any further and just leave. What do you think was that? Was someone hiding in the house and the police officers missed them? Or was there something more sinister going on there? This video was recorded by a man who noticed something outside his window. Between the trees, a pair of eyes can be seen watching him, the gaze pointing directly to him. What the f is that in the woods? We could say it is a predator watching from the forest, which by itself would be terrifying enough. But what is more terrifying is that the eyes seem red. Be it truly a predator in the woods or just some distant lights that lined up perfectly, it would still be a terrifying thing to see at night right before you want to go to bed. This lady is babysitting at a new place and she found something truly disturbing in the house. Guys, I'm babysitting and I just found the creepiest thing. <laughs> Look at this. All throughout the house, there appear to be creepy dolls turned with their face towards the wall, as if they are playing hide and seek. What makes it even creepier is the fact that the dolls are dressed similarly as you would dress a child. And upon touching the dolls, it also seems that the hair is real. But the girl doll is not the only one. In the kitchen, there is also another doll, but that of a boy. Similarly, just as well dressed as the girl. For anyone wondering what the heck are these, from what I found on the internet, these are called timeout dolls and are usually used as decor. But Personally, I'm not sure who would want to use these as decor for their house. So spending plenty of time with the dolls, she wanted to make fun of the position the dolls are in. But just as she places herself in a similar position, we can see something in the mirror. The figure of a girl can be seen passing, going into another room. And you might say it is normal since she is babysitting, but the kid she is staying with is actually a boy, not a girl. And in the mirror we can clearly see long hair. But that was not all. Later in the night, things started becoming creepier and creepier. She started thinking that the doors moved, or that the TV turned on by itself. And seeing how things are becoming creepier, she goes to check on Max, the boy she is babysitting. At this point she is terrified and she calls out to Max the lights no longer working and we can hear a bell the same bell that was attached to one of the dolls at this point the recording stops and I did some digging around because I really wanted to find out what happened but what I found is that apparently this recording is actually all fake Sophie Clayton made this as a short horror movie and there is actually a jump scare at the end I am sure many of you know about this video that made Bigfoot famous, but thanks to our improving technology, we now have an improved version of that original footage. In this version, we can see more clearly Bigfoot and its movement. It all seems natural, not some fake costume. It does look real. The creature looks even scarier when we can clearly see how big, but still fast it can be. I wish we'd have more clear videos such as this one, but as you will see later in this video, we actually received a clear image showing this creature again. But what are your thoughts on Bigfoot? Do you think it actually exists? If the music in this video wasn't enough to give you the chills, the shadow nonchalantly strolling across the street definitely should. 
the shadow very clearly walks from one side of the street to the other, unaware of the oncoming traffic. In fact, the shadow, not sure if we should instead call it a ghost, seems to be ignoring the cars driving down the road, as it walks straight through them. There is the possibility that the CCTV footage has been spliced and interwined, but irrespective, the shadow is definitely not fully human. What do you think this is? The third video is a lot more real. We can see a hiker face to face with a mountain lion. He's trying to fend off the animal and has to keep his cool for a long time. He's trying to scream at the animal to scare it. But it does not seem to work as the animal keeps coming closer and closer. I have no idea how he kept so calm in all this, especially when the mountain lion seemed ready to attack. Go! 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 No! No! It is really strange for a mountain lion to act this way, as they usually are more afraid of humans and attacks happen very rarely. There's been only about 126 attacks in North America in the past 100 years. But thankfully, because he managed to keep his calm despite the situation, he managed in the end to scare it off. Yeah, get the f away from me. Face. For some reason, this guy has a recording device installed next to his bed at night. And this is perhaps because of something that happened to him, similar to what we are about to see. As he is sleeping peacefully through the night, the curtains from his window open by themselves, and we could have attributed this to wind, if not for the thing we are about to see. If we are paying close attention to the window, we can see that something has come next to it and is looking into the house. Just a few seconds after that, we can see a sudden flickering of the camera and the vanishing of the thing we saw in the window, as if it had entered the house. We can then see the blanket being pulled away from the man, and I am sure when the man looked at this recording, he was thankful he slept through all that. But I believe he also most likely immediately started looking for another place to stay at. This camera recorded something truly bizarre. You can see something resembling a naked human running around on all four. The body and especially the limbs do seem to be of a human, perhaps a woman or a skinny man. The unnatural movements, however, makes me wonder what exactly is that. Many people claim this is the famous skinwalker, known from the Navajo culture as being a type of harmful witch who has the ability to turn into an animal. But what do you think? Is this a skinwalker or are we just dealing with a man who took the wrong amount of a substance? Following the previous video where the owner said he was sure there are multiple Bigfoots, I have found this picture which seems to be from a motion detection trail camera. It seems to have been activated by the movement of these strange four figures. I suppose they were moving rather quickly since the picture is all blurry. But even from this, we can make up some strange characteristics of these figures. They do seem rather large, no clothes, but very hairy. This would be the exact description of the Bigfoot. But what is strange is that there are four of them. And I personally always have thought of Bigfoot as a single entity. But it seems this is not the case. So is Bigfoot a species rather than an individual? What do you think? This video made me feel good about the country I'm living in, being thankful I will never have to encounter such a monster. We can see a man in a garden, pointing the camera to a sewer, and only after one or two seconds you can immediately tell exactly why he decided to record that. From the sewer tunnel you can see two big menacing eyes glaring at him. I don't know how he can continue to look at the alligator being so close. I know for sure that I would be running immediately as far away as possible upon seeing that dinosaur looking at me. The owner claims that what we see is exactly what it looks like. Ironically, I struggled to figure out initially what I was looking at. Was it one snake or two entwined? The videographer has definite drama potential. 
Imagine if the snakes decided to come down at night while the guy was sleeping. What would you do in this situation? I'd be down the road and around the corner on the phone with some kind of exterminator. And even after that, I would not sleep in that house until the entire ceiling and roof had been thoroughly examined. Two snakes could very probably mean many eggs. Watch how a ceiling full of snakes shows like in this other video. I was okay until the ceiling caved in. Those snakes were insanely big. Imagine what they could have done if they caught a kid in that house. This first video is interesting given the dark woods and eerie silence. The creature, if it is indeed something, does seem to resemble the image we all have of Bigfoot. Big, hairy and ape-like. However, the video has been edited. The camera is positioned down to look up, making things appear bigger and the fact that the recording is also slowed down give the figure steps a lot more weight, seeming bigger and heavier than it actually is. So I'm not sure if this is truly Bigfoot or just a person who tried really hard to create a video of a Bigfoot. But here's another one that perplexes me. So often when Bigfoot is sighted, he appears to be in broad daylight and out in the open. Bigfoot is supposed to be hidden, but here he is waltzing around on top of a mountain. While I warrant that the being, spotted by one of the lakes in Mission British Columbia, is large, it is conceivable that it could be a large man. I can understand how the hikers thought that they had caught something, but I am not sure they found Bigfoot. What do you think? Do you disagree with my thoughts? Okay, um, we're deep, deep, deep in the woods. Sort of, we're like on the border because like there's a side of the woods where there's people's houses. But I came to a trail that led to a trail that led to a trail. The next video is of a guy recording his walk in the forest because he previously found something truly scary. In a certain spot in the forest, there are many posters of missing people. What is weird is that this is not a place that people frequent, so there would be no point in placing them here. The guy alerted the police, who started an investigation immediately, that actually found out why the posters are there. Apparently, some guy who owns the land had a Halloween party there and used them as decorations in order to scare his guests. But even for a Halloween party, this seems a bit too much. The posters are not of random persons, these are actually real people who've gone missing. For example, the poster of Tara Grimstead. She was a history teacher who actually went missing in 2005 and was declared dead in 2010. Would you think it's acceptable to have such posters as decorations? What would their families think? Besides the wind rusting the trees, all seems peaceful in this park. Until we see the shadow. And for some time it seems that is all there is. However, the CCTV footage then begins to pick up more. The creature does seem to appear like a bear. Its movements do seem out of character for a bear however. We can see a close up on its face and it does seem to look weird, like a werewolf. And later on an image also surfaced on the internet, claiming to be what we saw in the video. You can contradict me on this one, but I think rather than a werewolf, it is a long decaying animal, perhaps a bear or a wolf. And whatever the animal seems to be, the fact that it decays alone and forgotten seems rather sad to me. Also, given its state of decay, it is easy to see how it could be seen as a werewolf. But the naked thin hind legs do seem that they could be part of a man rather than of an animal. While the face is clearly animal-like. So what is it? What are we looking at? Is it a decaying animal or a werewolf? We can see a man who was out in a forest looking for different types of mushrooms from that area. But little does he know he is about to encounter something that would terrify him to the bones. For a while the clip seems normal. He is just wandering the forest looking at different species of mushrooms until he is forced to move his sight from the mushrooms to something in the forest. <laughs> he 
He hears some distant scream, but by how it sounds, it does not seem to be of any animal we know. The screaming sounds out of this world. It is the sound of a big, sturdy creature. Immediately after he hears that, he does the best thing one could do. I think it's time to go. And whatever that was, living is probably the best thing to do when you hear that terrifying sound. This old clip is from Nat Geo TV and it is footage from Russia of a supposed sighting of Bigfoot. The clip is taken by some kids with their old phones, so the quality is very poor. We can see the kids playing in the snow, but they notice some big footsteps in the snow. Not knowing any better, the kids decide to follow them, to see where they lead. But they soon stop next to a forest, because they think they spot something moving in the distance. They freeze with the thought it could be a bear, but as they look at the figure for a while, they recognize it is a tall, hairy, humanoid-shaped creature, which also seems to notice them. Once realizing it is spotted, the creature darts away deeper into the forest, which also makes the kids start running back. The kids explain the creature's face was white and unlike the body, it had no hair on it. So did these kids spot Bigfoot? In this clip we can see some disturbing thing, some sort of dark-haired creature making its way through the forest but its face looks more dog-like and, to be honest, it does look frightening at first look. People argued online that this creature is a werewolf, but to be honest, I am skeptical. The way it moves, always seeming to have its mouth open to frighten, seems too unrealistic. It looks more like a Halloween costume. So to me, rather than a werewolf, as others suggested, I think this is just a man with a suit trying to give us a fright. What do you think? This is a trail camera that caught some amazing moments. We can see right next to the camera a wolf doing its distinctive howl. Supposedly trying to communicate with its pack. Perhaps calling them for a hunt. But what amazes me more is the second footage from another trail camera that caught the enormous size of a wolf pack. Just look at this pack making its way down the slope. There are so many of them, around 15 of them I think. And just think about how big wolves are. From what I know, wolf packs can reach up to 30 individuals. So just imagine being so unlucky to having to deal with a pack of that size in a forest. This clip was taken a few years ago in Kiev before the start of the war but what it caught was really strange. As the person filming looks towards the pedestrian bridge, we can see someone under it, climbing. At first, I was thinking who would be crazy to do such a thing, but if we zoom the camera, we can see they do not really look like a human, and to me, the movement also seems too flawless to be of a human. Just imagine the necessary strength needed to be able to hold on to the bridge, not saying actually being able to go along it with such ease. I know there are people doing parkour who are pretty good with such difficult climbs, but the way it looks and how fast it moves, to me it does not seem natural for a human. So either that is an escaped monkey from the zoo, or there is something more bizarre going on here. What do you think this is? This footage is from the UK of a few boys who were fooling around in a cave, but while they were looking around they spotted a black figure crouched next to a stone pillar. Surprised but also frightened, they took a picture of it and ran backwards. And we can see exactly what they photographed. And at first they thought it is just some stray dog, because all we can make up is some sort of animal with black fur. Thinking it is funny, they went back with some sort of smoke grenade and tried to mess with it. But as they looked again, it looked clear it was not just some stray dog, but rather some sort of hairy creature slowly making its way towards them. The clip ends suddenly, and we can't really know what happened afterwards. Most likely they began running if it was real. 
The creature to me looks like a goat, but the way it climbs that edge looks more human to me, so I am not sure what that is. Is it just some prank by a few kids, or did they catch something more bizarre? In this trail camera footage, we can see an encounter between a cat and a fox. They seem to be squaring each other for an egg in the middle. The fox seeming anxious to get its mouth on it, while the cat, being a good defender of the household, is trying to keep it at bay. From what I know, foxes are usually not scared of cats, and they actually attack them. But this one is reluctant to get any closer to the aggressively hissing cat. What is even more amazing is that the cat also seems to be missing a front leg, and yet still does not back down from this encounter. Maybe this is also the reason she is so aggressive. She knows she does not have the option to outrun the fox. The fox tries to get closer a few more times, but the cat lunges again and again towards it, making the fox run away in the end. This couple was driving at night on an empty road and all seemed to be fine, but just as they were passing some bushes, they spotted something terrifying hiding in a strange pale slender humanoid figure. After they passed it, they decided to turn around to have a second look at what they've just seen. Although the recording is even worse a second time, the first time they spotted the figure, it seems to be fully grey and slender. It did not look natural, to me it did not look human, it was something resembling more of a skinwalker. So did they record a skinwalker, perhaps stalking for its next prey? This motion detection trail camera caught the unfortunate end of this deer as it was taking its last breaths surrounded by wolves. We can see that the wolves were still looking hesitant, so perhaps the deer still had some fight in it. But by the looks of it, this deer met its end on the spot, because it would have been really hard to get up from that position and be allowed by the wolves to escape. Although unfortunate for the deer, these are the rules of nature. The death of the deer means the survival of the wolf pack. But still, an unfortunate sight caught by this troll camera. This camera spotted an unknown small hairy creature making its way around the backyard. It seems to be walking really fast on two legs, its body being also covered in hair but seeming to have no arms from the looks of it. To me, rather than frightening, it looks a bit funny seeing this small ball of fur walking on its two little legs. But I'm also curious what exactly this is. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments down below. This is a really old footage from a group that was traveling in the Himalaya mountains. The group was filming their trip to have memories for later on and we can see them filming themselves as they are traversing the mountain range and camping. However, as they were climbing higher and higher, they had a strange encounter no one expected. As they were moving through a covered part of the mountain, they noticed something way ahead in the snowfield. A large hairy creature making its way through the thick snow. They said that compared to how they were moving through all that snow, the creature was moving a lot faster, making it seem rather easy, as if it was accustomed to such harsh environments. Experts who reviewed the footage estimated the creature to have been around 6.7 to 9 feet tall, but moreover it could have also been extremely hard to fake a costume that large moving with that ease in the snow all the way in the Himalayan mountains. So what do you think? Is this one of the best footage of the Bigfoot? Take a look at this footage from a man who decided to take his dog for a run in the forest. In the video we can hear the dog barking at whatever was hiding in the grass, but a few seconds after the dog started barking, the creature leaps from the ground ready to attack. It lunges at the dog and right when they are side by side, we can see the true scale of the creature. It seems to be a wolf, but it is incredibly large, larger than any wolf I have personally seen. It was at least two times the size of the dog, which also seemed to be big enough itself as well. By how natural the creature moved and the way the dog reacted to it, 
make it seem very unlikely to be faked. And I know wolves can get pretty big, but this seems unexpectedly large, especially compared to that big dog. Dire wolves were considered to have lived thousands of years ago in North America, but were thought to have gone extinct. Does this prove otherwise? Is that a dire wolf? This trail camera caught something unexpected. A supposed murderer turned fugitive, called Brian Laundrie. For those of you who do not know, Gabriel Petito and Brian Laundrie posted a video on YouTube to document their trip across country together. Suspicions rose as the family did not hear from the girl for a while, and they declared her missing. Her body was unfortunately found in the end by the FBI, with signs of strangulation. But her boyfriend, Brian Laundrie, was nowhere to be found. A national search began for him. What we see in this trail cam footage is believed to have been him trying to escape the police, traveling through forests rather than roads and towns. And what is creepier is that this might be the last sight anyone caught of him alive, as his body was later found along a white backpack, similar to what we see here. The FBI noticed that he seems to have died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, which makes us conclude that he took his own life. This is a really short footage caught by some people who were in a ski resort in the mountains of Spain. During a blizzard, they spotted this strange creature moving in the snow. And although it is a really short clip, we can make up the figure of a tall, full of white hair creature. It seems to be bipedal, as we can see taking a step. But this was not the only sighting these people caught of the creature during their trip and they managed to encounter it when they had no blizzard outside, and this time they took some pictures of it. It really does seem to resemble some relative of Bigfoot, perhaps a Yeti making its way through the mountains. The people who took these photos reported it to the resort, and an investigation began, but they did not find anything afterwards. So was that a Yeti who understood it stood way too long in sight? Or was this a hoax? What do you think? This is the footage from the body cam of a police officer in a raid on a supposed house full of drugs. But what they are about to find is a lot more terrifying. As the policemen proceed to enter the building, we can see the front door continuing to slam really hard. One policeman enters, but the door keeps on slamming. They look up and down at the door to try to understand what is causing this, but cannot see anything. It seems like a normal looking door. After all the policemen enter the already haunted looking house, and looking again at the door which keeps on slamming, they quickly decide that they need to get out of there. And as they get out, we can hear something breaking behind them, which terrifies them even more and makes them start running. So what was that? Why was the door slamming again and again? What was causing that? Is there something sinister going on? Or just some stage trick? This footage was caught in Brazil and it has a bizarre encounter on it. A strange figure is seen moving behind a table in the tall grass. It seems to be full of hair with long ears but with an overall face resembling a dog. It seems to be looking straight at the camera for a few seconds, after which it quickly runs away. But the way it begins running seems more of a man rather than a wolf. So what are we looking at? Is this some kind of a dogman? Or is it someone in a costume trying to play a prank? What do you think? This trail camera probably caught one of the most unexpected sightings you would see when looking through the footage of your trail camera. A big group of soldiers, fully armed with automatic rifles, were caught on this trail camera as they were going through the forest. Many of us would expect to see animals or strange creatures of the night on trail cameras. For sure not army soldiers. I looked into this and apparently the soldiers were there just for some training but it is weird their training got caught by this trail camera. 
Look at what these fishermen caught while out at sea. It looks like a fish, but it seems to have arms with claws on their end. Personally, I have never seen this combination in a creature. Should it be a fish or a crab? It does look very bizarre. If anyone knows what this is, then please let me know in the comments, because I have no idea what we are looking at. And although I know there are really strange creatures in the depths of the ocean, I have never seen this. This footage shows a moose staring down exactly at the trail camera. But what is way scarier is what we can see in the distance between the trees. A pair of glowing eyes can be seen stalking the moose. They seem to be moving at a very rapid pace as they quickly move from one side of the screen to the other. At the end of the clip, the moose seemingly having noticed whatever is stalking it. So what was that? Is that a wolf, a mountain lion or something more bizarre? What we are looking at is a device that was inserted in some sewer pipes to check whether there is some blockage along the way. But as the device was making its way along the pipes, it found something strange. In the muddy water, a hand is seen reaching out to the camera as it passes along. It can seem really creepy to see this in a sewer pipe, and many people were startled by what they saw. But having looked at it for a few times, I think that what we are seeing is just a frog that was startled by the device moving towards it. But what do you think? Was that a frog or something else? This clip is taken by the dash camera from a truck traveling at night on a deserted road. All seems normal for a while, until we can see something strange appearing on the right side of the lane. We can see a figure standing on the empty road, and it would be strange enough on its own to see someone standing on the side of an empty road at night. But this one is even scarier, because the figure seems ghostly. If we zoom in closer, we can't really make up the shape of the body, except perhaps the fact that we can make up that the figure has two legs. I'm not sure if this could be a glitch with the dashcam, or just a trick from the lights, because it seems too strange to be just that. But what do you think? This trail cam picture was sent by a viewer from Pennsylvania, who said they caught a skinwalker on their trail camera. The image appears to have been taken during the day, and this is perhaps a motion detection camera that was set off by the mysterious figure we can see in the distance. Next to the tree, a hairless slender creature can be seen lurking, perhaps trying to hide. Although it does seem to resemble a human, upon taking a closer look, it seems nothing like one. And I'll have to give it to the person who sent it. It does seem to resemble a skinwalker. And the more I look at it, the creepier it gets. Perhaps this was exactly the intent because it could be someone disguised trying to make the owner of the trail camera get frightened by the images taken. This footage is from the security camera installed by some parents in the baby's room in order to check up on him, but what they saw in it straight up terrified them. In this recording we can hear the babies crying. He seems to be really distressed and I wonder why no one showed up to calm him down. The baby is trying really hard to get out of the crib, and we can see him managing to climb up on the crib's edges. He gets up on his two legs, but suddenly seems to be holed up straight by something. You can imagine how impossible it would be for a kid his age to stand on his two legs, not even saying being able to hold his balance on that edge. The kid stands for a few good seconds in that position, all the while continuing to cry and yelling for his mom. After a while, the kid seems to just plunge down in the crib, continuing to cry. And many people on the internet, besides criticizing the parents for not showing up, also mentioned how strange the baby was standing on the edge, like it was possessed or held up by an invisible force. And looking again at it, just look at his legs and how stable he is standing. 
I'm not sure what are the chances for a baby of his age to do that on his own. This recording is from a couple messing around and looking inside what seems to be an abandoned mine. At first they seem hesitant to get close, as if they are expecting something inside. We can see that the entrance is sealed off with some metal bars. They try to zoom in and look at what is beyond, but can't really see anything, so they decide to get closer to have a better look inside. As the guy places the camera next to the sealed off entrance and zooms in, he suddenly notices a pair of eyes appearing in the dark, looking directly at him. He's instantly startled by this sight and backs away, quietly telling his partner to go. So what was that? What were those eyes in the dark? Can they be just an animal? Or was it some sort of a creature hiding in the abandoned mine? In this clip we can see some villagers approaching cautiously a goat. They seem to be poking with their sticks the goat for some strange reason, but we will soon see exactly why. As the camera approaches and we get a better view of the goat, we can see there is something black hanging from it. It seems to be latching onto it as a parasite and a few moments later we can see that the villagers made it lose its grip from the goat. The creature flees the side very quickly, like a shadow dragging across the ground. I thought that it might be a snake, but the way it looked for the first time we see it holding onto the goat, and the way it moves afterwards, seem too strange for any snake. So what exactly was that? We can see the images taken by the GoPro of a biker. For a while everything is normal. But what is for sure, he is not prepared for the encounter he is about to have. Once he leaves the forested area and enters a narrowed, walled part, something jumps in front of him. Startled, he stops and takes a look behind him to see what it was, but the creature vanished completely. If we look in slow motion at the images, this thing does seem to resemble a monkey. But the biker said that what he saw was nothing close to a monkey. It had no fur, only grey skin and it looked like a hybrid between a dog and a monkey. So what was that? Was it just a monkey and the biker got scared for nothing? Or was it something else? We can see someone driving along a road in one of the most known spots in the USA. Not only for its history, but also for its ghostly sightings. Gettysburg. As the car is driving closer and closer to the cannons, we can see in the distance suddenly a ghostly apparition that seems to dart across the screen. If we look closer, it does seem to somewhat resemble the shape of a human, perhaps the soul of a long gone soldier. But these apparitions on camera are not really that uncommon, because they can be just glitches of the camera. As scary as they might be the first time we see such videos, most of the time these are just due to different compression algorithms, and sometimes they can just store visual changes in a place of the whole thing. Do you think this is the same in this case? In this trail camera footage we can see some strange things appearing in front of the camera. Nothing can be seen anywhere else in the field. But it seems something is very close to the camera, as if it is inspecting it. I'm not sure what these lights are exactly caused by. It could be just some particles that got really close to the lens, but they do look weird and I am sure this footage baffled its owner as well. Does anyone know what exactly caused all that? In this CCTV footage we can see a girl trying to cross the street, but there are two incoming cars. She tries anyway, perhaps only noticing the first one, as the second driver is not stopping and is about to hit her. At that moment, we can see an individual quickly dashing and saving the little girl from the incoming crash. He places her at the end of the crosswalk and quickly runs away. The girl looks terrified and amazed at the same time by what happened, and the cars also seem to have noticed what happened because the drivers are not moving from that place. I'm not sure exactly what to make of this clip, 
my skeptical minds tell me that this is edited. But if it is so, it is a pretty good edit. What do you think? As we venture deeper into the unknown, we often come across strange and inexplicable phenomena. Such was the case when the Indian army reported sightings of the mythical creature known as the Yeti. On an expedition at the Makalu base camp in the Himalayan mountains, the creature long thought to be a product of local folklore and superstition was said to have left behind massive footprints, measuring an incredible 32 by 15 inches. These prints were unlike anything seen before, with their sheer size and depth indicating a creature of immense power and strength. As we look closer at these mysterious footprints, it becomes clear that they are far too large to belong to a human being, and certainly do not match any animal that we know about in that region. These prints are deeply caked into the snow indicating the creature is of substantial weight and spaced far apart suggesting a stride that is both monstrous and intimidating. And the size of these footprints is enough to send shivers down the spine of any seasoned explorer or adventurer. While some may be quick to dismiss such sightings as mere superstitions, it is important to know that the Yeti is not the only large, hairy creature said to exist in the world. Scientists have recently discovered the remains of a massive ape, known as Gigantopithecus, which lived over a million years ago in South Asia, and is estimated to have been as large as a polar bear. The Indian army, upon posting this story, was highly ridiculed by the international community for believing in such things. But could it be that the Yeti, too, is a remnant of a long extinct species surviving in remote corners of the world and leaving behind its massive footprints as evidence of its existence? Whatever the truth behind these mysterious footprints may be, one thing is certain. They are a testament to the enduring power of folklore and legend in our modern world, reminding us that there is still so much left to explore and discover. These type of videos just make my skin crawl. There's no way this can be human, or even animal. It walks on all fours, like an animal would. But its limbs are long and slender. It is not in a hurry, rather meandering past the camera. It appears to look up at one stage, revealing glowing eyes. It clocks the camera and then continues on. So what exactly is it? What are we looking at? Music in so many of these videos make the entire experience even more eerie, but I would have to say that I would be even more terrified if there was silence here. The night is dark and quiet, but these campers are relaxing by their campfire. The one filming seems to be enjoying exploring his new camera. Suddenly, the cameraman notices a faint glow in the distance. It's too small to be a campfire and too bright to be a star. The glow begins to move and then, all of a sudden, grows larger and brighter and we soon realize the light is a pair of eyes. The eyes glow with an eerie red light and seems fixed on the campers. There's no way this can be an animal. The creature moves with terrifying speed, darting through the shadows and leaping over obstacles. It seems to be driven by a malevolent, almost supernatural force. At the end of the video, just as the campers are about to make their getaway, the camera zooms in and we can see that the eyes are set in a dark, shadowy figure. It's too far away to make out any details, but its size and shape suggests that it's not a creature we want to mess with. They flee into the night on their boat, leaving behind the ruined campsite and the creature with the glowing red eyes. If it weren't for the arrow, I wouldn't be sure where to look. But then the dogs alert us to the figure behind the tree. It is definitely not human, but is also not animal. The dogs are attentive, but they don't seem to be too concerned, except a few barks they make. As we watch the creature, we can see its movements are slow and deliberate. It appears to be observing us as much as we are observing it. The creature's long limbs might suggest it to be some sort of monkey, an ape perhaps. The fact that it hides so carefully behind the tree, however, is suspicious and unnerving. I can't believe the camera lady didn't see it, 
Thankfully, whatever it was, it didn't seem to mean any harm. The footage is dark and the camera hardly stays still, so it's not easy to see what appears to be an alien. But its silhouette is a strange, otherworldly shape. The body, spotted in the forest of El Paso, Colorado, seems elongated, and its skin is smooth, almost sleek, reflecting any light that manages to penetrate the darkness. Its head is large and round, with oversized lidless eyes that seem to glow in the dark. Despite its ominous appearance, the alien does not seem to be hostile. In fact, it almost appears afraid, hiding and pushing itself up against the tree. So what exactly are we looking at? Is this some kind of prank? As the man ascends over the hill, I can feel my nerves jumping. The man seems unsure of how to interact with the people and structures around him, as if he has been living in the wild his entire life. Like the cameraman says, this is some crazy stuff. Clearly the man has no language skills, he is almost animal-like, which leads me to believe that he is feral. He does seem to be wearing clothes and he does seem harmless. One can't help but feel a sense of sympathy for him, knowing that he must be completely out of his element in this world. It is a pity the car had to drive away, as it would have been interesting to know more about the man. I can't help but wonder what his story is, how he came to be living in the wild, and what led him to venture out into civilization. Either that, or this was a setup for an interesting, but fake encounter. I always watch these type of videos with my breath held. I can see the room is still, but I am waiting for whatever it is making itself known. What is it though? The first interaction we witness is the door at the end of the corridor open, only for it to slam shut soon after. The noise is alarming in silence. A locker then starts to rock violently, growing in speed. The aggression of whatever it is then proceeds to fling papers out of another locker. The entity seems poltergeist-like, aiming its frustration then on the wet floor sign. I can't help but feel a sense of dread as the entity continues its rampage. The way it moves, the way it seems to target specific objects, suggests a level of intelligence that is all the more frightening. This is not some mindless ghost or spirit but something with a purpose, something with a vendetta. What tormented soul is trapped in these holes, I wonder? We can see a man in a forest doing some trot singing while being watched by a deer. However, as he moves the camera towards the deer, we can see something else in the distance. The creature is humanoid in structure, with long, pale limbs. It is hiding cautiously behind a tree, clearly not wanting to be seen. And the description of the clip refers to skinwalkers, and I've heard stories of skinwalkers before, creatures that can shapeshift in the form of any animal they choose. They're said to be powerful and dangerous, capable of incredible feats of strength and speed. If the figure in the distance is indeed a skinwalker, then we are dealing with something far beyond our understanding. As the video comes to an end, I'm left with more questions than answers. This strange being was spotted walking on a deserted road in India. Its appearance is unlike anything anyone has ever seen before. It has a humanoid shape, but its skin is a sickly shade of grey. The being moves with an unnatural gait, almost as if it was not accustomed to walking on two legs. Its arms are long and thin. The few witnesses who saw it feel a sense of unease and dread as if the being is not of this world. It is possible that the being spotted is simply a naked and thin person who is lost or disoriented. Some possibilities could include a person in a costume or prosthetics as well. What do you think? What exactly is this? When I found this video, it was described as being the recording of a fallen angel. But I'm not sure where the angel that they are referring to was in this particular video. Our first glimpse of the strange thing is a white mass. It almost appears skeletal from a distance. At first, it does not appear to be moving. We focus on this for quite some time. The footage then changes a couple of times. 
We seem to follow the hikers further into the woods, with foliage on all sides. The camera then clocks on a strange humanoid creature crouched in the distance. The hikers zoom in and get nearer. Suddenly, the creature turns and looks at the camera. And I don't blame the hikers for freaking out and running. The chaos and excitement around these campers give away nothing untoward. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. The group then hears a shrill sound in the distance that immediately makes me think it is a bird. Rambina, more like it. <laughs> but then one of the campers immediately sees a small, elf-like creature on top of the camper van. They all spring up and away from the vehicle, both in fear but also to get a better view. I'm not exactly sure what this creature was. My first guess would be that it was some kind of a monkey. And considering the sound we heard earlier, I think it is a monkey. But what do you think it is? In this video, a man who was walking in a forest got frightened by something he spotted and decided to record it. He hid behind a tree and recorded a few seconds of a big figure walking slowly between the trees. The figure appears to be large, hairy, and has long arms. The video has been shared widely on social media, with many claiming that it could be the evidence of the existence of Bigfoot. The figure in the video does bear some resemblance to the descriptions of Bigfoot. However, the quality of the video is not great, and it is difficult to make out any details. It could be a well-built person walking around in a forest, just happening to come across this scared man. But what do you think? We see a driver traveling along a dark and unlit country road at night. The only source of light is from the car's headlights. The driver is recording the drive with a dash cam when suddenly a completely gray figure darts across the side of the car at an incredibly fast speed. The driver seems to have noticed it as well and gets frightened by the encounter. The driver continues but he is clearly shaken by what he just saw. He starts to swear and expresses his disbelief at what he just witnessed. Despite his fear, he makes a U-turn and heads back to the spot where he saw the figure. Unfortunately, when he arrives, there is no sign of anything unusual. The video raises the question of whether or not the driver had a ghostly encounter. The figure that ran past the car was indeed creepy, especially because of how quickly it moved. However, it could also be argued that it was simply a trick of the light. The driver could also have been the victim of a prank or a CG creation, although the latter seems less likely given the remote and dark location of the road. It is also worth noting that many people have claimed to have had ghostly encounters on country roads at night. These experiences have been reported all over the world and have even been documented by paranormal investigators. Some believe that the spirits of people who have died on these roads may be haunting them, while others believe that they may be encountering something entirely different. In this video, we see a man who ventured into the woods to watch the stars through his telescope, only to become the subject of interest for a predator. While the man is busy observing the night sky, he notices something moving in the woods. Did it fucking move? He quickly turns his attention towards the trees and uses a flashlight to investigate. As he illuminates the area, he notices a pair of glowing eyes staring back at him. The eyes seem to be fixated on him and follow his every move. The man seems to realize that he is being watched by a predator, possibly a pack of wolves. He tries to stay calm and keep his composure as he continues to observe the eyes. The video captures the intense moment as the man attempts to scare away the predator by flashing his light towards it. However, the glowing eyes continue to stare at him without any indication of fear or intimidation. It is clear from the video that the man was in a potentially dangerous situation, as wolves can be very dangerous when they are hungry or threatened. Hopefully, he got home safe. In the beginning of the video, we see two vloggers walking through a snowy forest at night. They stop in their tracks as they hear something coming from the forest. Curiosity gets the better of them, and they decide to investigate. The vloggers turn on their night vision camera and spot someone walking around. What is strange is that they see someone with what appears to be a big blanket over their head. They start following the person because they find it very suspicious for someone to be alone in the forest at night. The vloggers quietly stalk the person, trying to figure out 
what they are doing there. After some time, they reach a car parked nearby, but the person they were following is nowhere to be seen. The vloggers express their suspicions that the person they were following might have been up to no good, possibly hiding a body in the forest. However, it is important to note that the vloggers themselves had no business being in the forest at night either, so their claims should be taken with a grain of salt. It is possible that the person they were following was just out for a walk and their car was parked nearby for convenience. It is also possible that they had a valid reason for being there, but were just spooked by the presence of the vloggers following them. The body cam footage of a police officer searching for three lost children in Sam Houston National Forest in Montgomery, Texas, was captured in a heartwarming video that quickly went viral on social media. The video shows the police officer shouting out for some lost children, aged two, six, and seven, who had gone missing the night before while playing in a dry creek bed and had diverted from the commonly used trail. Come out, can y'all come to me? Come to me. In the video, we see the officer arriving at the spot where the children were thought to be, and after a while of searching and shouting for them, he's found them. The kids look worn down by the adventure, but their spirits are high. The officer offers his jacket to one of the kids and trying to lift their spirits. He tells them that he is the police and asks if they are ready to get out of the woods. The officer and the children then began their trek out of the woods. The officer used a compass on his phone to navigate, and when his phone stopped working, he directed responders to activate their sirens so he would know whether or not he was headed in the right direction. After about 20 minutes of hiking through the dense forest, the group emerged and joined with the first responders who were waiting for them. As the children are led past the officer, he gives each of them a high five. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office stated that the children were uninjured thanks to all the parties involved in the search effort. In this video, we can see two small bears near the base of a tree, filmed by two hunters who are perched up in it. Suddenly, the two bears start running towards the tree and climb up it, right next to the two hunters. The cameraman looks completely surprised by this, as behind his astonished face, we can see a small cub holding onto the tree, completely undeterred by the presence of the hunters. The other hunter seems to begin talking with the cub, as the cub curiously gets closer to him. The hunter speaks to the bear cub in a gentle tone, and the cub seems to listen attentively, while exploring its surroundings. After a while of checking up on the hunters, the bear seems to have lost interest in them and is heading down. The hunters, most likely relieved, seem to still be in awe of what just happened. Encounters with bears can be quite dangerous, and it's essential to stay calm and not panic. In this particular video, the hunters kept their composure and it seemed like the bear cub was also comfortable with their presence. However, it's important to remember that bears are wild animals and unpredictable, and one should always exercise caution and keep a safe distance from them. The wilderness is always full of surprises, and this trail cam footage is no exception. This trail cam spotted a black bear enjoying his time in front of the camera. He is seen standing up on two legs, possibly trying to reach something in the tree next to him. However, he does not seem to be able to reach it. He walks around on all fours, sniffing the trail cam a bit, after which he goes back on two legs, trying again to reach whatever is in that tree. He is doing his very best but it does not seem he can manage to reach the object of his desire. After the bear gives up, we can see a bobcat quietly coming into view, keeping its gaze on the bear. In the video, we see someone recording an abandoned house, presumably for a ghost hunting or exploration type video. The video starts off innocently enough, but as we watch the camera pan out to reveal the front of the house, we are confronted with a spine tingling sight. A figure quickly walks past the window on the first floor, leaving us with more questions than answers. Upon closer inspection and with the use of slow motion, we can see what appears to be a bald man in a white shirt moving at a bizarrely fast pace through the house. It's enough to send shivers down one's spine, and it leaves us with a burning question. Was it truly a ghost or something even more sinister? The group, for some inexplicable reason, decides to investigate further and enter the abandoned building. They take a few looks around the house, but they can't seem to find anyone or anything. But the question remains, what really happened in that abandoned house? And what did we really see on that video? Was it the ghost of someone long gone? We see a man reluctantly filming something in the distance in a forest. 
The figure he is filming is big, hairy, and sturdy, but it is difficult to make out any defining features. Some viewers may wonder if this could be a sighting of Bigfoot. A creature often described as a large, bipedal ape that is said to live in remote forests. While there have been numerous sightings and reports of Bigfoot over the years, there is still no conclusive evidence that this creature exists. However, it is worth noting that scientists have discovered a species known as Gigantopithecus, which lived more than a million years ago in what is now China, and is thought to have been the largest primate to have ever lived. This ape was as big as a polar bear and went extinct around 300,000 years ago. Some researchers believe that Gigantopithecus may be the origin of many Bigfoot legends. Despite this, many Bigfoot sightings have been debunked as hoaxes or misidentifications of other animals. The footage in this clip may be yet another example of this phenomenon. Without further evidence, it is difficult to say for certain what this figure in the forest really is. The video in question has sparked a lot of controversy, with many people speculating on the true nature of the creature you are about to see. The video starts with a guy saying that he has seen a strange creature caged in a Romanian zoo he was visiting, and it looked like a deformed human, so he wants to record it. He starts walking, keeping his phone, still recording, hidden. He enters a dark room, and we can hear Romanian voices in the background saying things like, Do not touch it. Can't you see it? It's covered in blood. He is so ugly. What is it? As he approaches the creature, we can hear growling noises coming from the cage. The camera then pans to the creature, revealing a humanoid figure with no hair and black eyes. It is clear that this is no ordinary human being. The man in the background can be heard shouting at him to stop recording, but immediately the creature lunges towards the camera, as if disturbed by its presence. The strange sight of the creature, as well as how secret it seemed led to further speculation on the origins of the creature. Is it a genetic experiment gone wrong, or is it something more sinister? But this has also led to many questions about the authenticity of the video. Is it real, or is it just a hoax? Some have suggested that it could be a new species of humanoid creature, while others believe that it could be a genetic experiment gone wrong. There have also been suggestions that it could be a fake, created using CGI or other visual effects. What do you think? Whether the video is real or fake, it remains a mystery that may never be fully solved. In this intriguing video, a group of guys can be seen recording some bushes, clearly anticipating for something to appear. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a strange and completely black creature appears, taking them all by surprise. The creature seems to be some sort of animal, and at first glance, it looks a bit like a monkey. However, it is difficult to identify its features, since it is almost pitch black, with almost no light reflecting off of it. One of the guys steps forward and begins pointing at the creature, as if to tell the others what it is. Although it is unclear what language he is speaking, he seems to be instructing the others on how to interact with the creature. The creature moves around and stares at them, as if trying to understand what is going on. Despite the uncertainty of what this creature could be, it is interesting to observe how the guys seem to be studying it closely, trying to figure out what to do. They even attempt to scare off the creature by pretending to throw something at it, which seems to work as the creature quickly runs back to the bushes. The appearance of this creature is certainly intriguing and leaves us with more questions than answers. If anyone knows what this creature could be, please leave a comment and share your thoughts. Perhaps we can uncover the mystery of this elusive black creature together. Our next video shows some fishermen at night in a boat. Suddenly, there's a splattering on the water that startles them. When they slow down the footage, they discover that a big fish-like hand with claws caused the splattering as it slashed towards the boat. The footage is quite eerie, 
and it's difficult to make out the details of the creature due to the low light. However, it's clear that the creature has some sort of appendage with claws that it's using to attack the boat. What could it be? Some sort of sea monster or aquatic creature? It's important to note, however, the creature in the video could be anything from a natural phenomenon to a misidentified animal or even a hoax. Without further evidence or information, it's impossible to say for sure. An old video that has been circulating online for years has recently surfaced, having been stabilized and enhanced with new technology. It is a peculiar and rather unnerving clip. At first, we see a little girl floating in the air as if held up by invisible strings. Her mother looks at her as if this event is normal. It's as if the laws of gravity have momentarily been suspended. The little girl appears to be unaffected by the unnatural position in which she finds herself, looking down at her mother with a calm expression on her face. As we watch the video, we can see the mother's bodily expression change from one of awe to one of concern as they are spotted. The camera loses them from the view, and we can only see the bear quickly running away, clearly concerned not to be discovered. Upon closer inspection, it's apparent that the little girl's movements are not natural, but rather controlled by some external force. The way she floats in the air appears as though she is being held up by some invisible strings, defying the laws of gravity. The video's enhanced quality makes it all the more eerie, as we can see the details of the little girl's movements with greater clarity. This video raises many questions. Is this some sort of paranormal event? A manipulation of technology? Or just a hoax? We may never know for sure. Nonetheless, the video is undeniably unsettling. The video begins with some shaky footage taken from a phone camera that appears to be moving down a dark, empty street. The camera is focused on something on the side of the car, as if the passengers have seen something or are expecting something to happen. Suddenly, we hear a piercing scream from a woman inside the car, as a strange figure is seen running towards the car. <laughs> the figure appears to be supernatural, as it is able to keep up with the car despite the speed and movement of the vehicle. It has glowing eyes that shine in the darkness, which only adds to the fear-inducing nature of the encounter. The figure seems to be getting closer and closer to the car, and the passengers inside the vehicle are clearly panicked. As the car speeds up, the figure is momentarily left behind, but it continues to run at an impossible speed its glowing eyes still visible in the darkness. The passengers in the car are lucky to have escaped the clutches of this mysterious figure. However, the question remains, what was this strange creature that was chasing them in the night? In this video, we see a mysterious grayish creature hiding behind some trees. The footage appears to be captured by a trail camera, and the creature seems to be of significant size. The creature has big black eyes, but unfortunately, we can't get a clear view of it. The video claims to be unedited, but it's difficult to tell for sure. It's unclear what the creature is or what it's doing there. Is it some sort of wild animal, an alien, or something else entirely? Unfortunately, the video doesn't provide us with any concrete answers. This clip shows a family playing around in their garden when they come across a strange insect in a tree. The insect starts flying around them, and at first glance, it appears to be a fairy. However, it's unclear whether or not it's just CGI. When it comes to the idea of a fairy being real, it's important to consider the myths and folklore surrounding them. In most mythologies, fairies are depicted as small, magical beings that possess wings and the ability to fly. They are often mischievous and have a deep connection to nature. However, in modern culture, fairies are often depicted as cute and friendly creatures that are beloved by children. Given what we know about fairies from mythology, it's highly unlikely that the insect in the video is an actual fairy. 
While the insect does have wings and seems to fly around in a fairy-like manner, it's much more likely that it's a product of CGI or some other special effect. In any case, the video certainly provides an interesting glimpse into our fascination with these mythical creatures. This is the CTV footage from a homeowner who claims to have had one of most terrifying encounters. We can see a man hanging outside the house with his wife and his dog. Far in the distance, a sound which seems like a strange dog barking can be heard. After a while it can be heard again, but this time closer to their fence. After a few more moments, the sound was getting closer and closer at a speed it was not normal. The sound changed from barking to what sounds like a bird. The owners were paying close attention now, but not knowing what exactly it was. They were went inside the house. The next day, the owner went outside again for a smoke, but this time, the sound was like a deep, slow breathing one. It sounded even closer to him. Given how terrified the owner got, he went to look at the security footage, and that is when he saw this. A strange line of lights can be seen moving exactly in front of him. I am not sure whether this is a strange effect of the camera, or the sounds he was hearing were in fact from this thing. He claims that at the time he could not see anything, just hear heavy breathing close to him. So is this the footage of what appears to be a ghost. From the sound of the language the driver is speaking, it sounds like this footage is from Russia. The road is dark, with the only source of light being the car's headlight. Suddenly, in the distance, we can see a big figure pass in front of the car. The people inside the car start shouting upon spotting the creature, clearly not expecting to be met with this sight. <laughs> The creature quickly dashes out of their view into the forest. If we slow down the recording, we can see that the figure is pretty solid with what appears to be hair all over their body. It's difficult to say with certainty what the creature in the dash cam footage could be. Some may speculate that it could be Bigfoot or another type of undiscovered hominid. So could this be an Yeti or Bigfoot? My instincts say yes, however, it could be fake as well. But I applaud the efforts to dress up and go into the middle of nowhere just to film this if this is the case. What do you think? We can see the footage from a motorcyclist traveling through a forest, but we are immediately met with a very strange sight. Bones scattered around the forest trail evoke an unsettling feeling that something is not quite right in this place. The motorcyclist himself seems to be taken aback by the sight, but presses on, venturing deeper into the woods. The path he's on is difficult, with many fallen trees blocking his way, but he remains undeterred and continues onward, determined to reach his destination. He gets to a point where two small trees have fallen exactly on the road and are completely blocking his way forward, just as he's saying in the video. This is where most people would turn around. But he goes on and tries to move them aside. Not being able to do so, he tries to get his bike over them. But just as he is doing that, he hears something in the forest. The subtitles from his original video say that it was the sound of someone shouting for help. He hears branches breaking as something appears to be moving towards him. In that moment, his instincts take over and he decides to flee, turning his motorcycle around and speeding away from the source of the noise. But what really happened in the forest that day? Was it just his imagination playing tricks? on him? Or was there something more sinister lurking in the shadows? The bones scattered on the forest trail and the eerie howling in the distance suggest that this place might not be as safe as it seemed. Who or what could be responsible for these strange occurrences? What annoys me about this footage is that if he indeed heard help, just as he indicated by the subtitles he put on, then why turn around to flee when you hear someone coming towards you? Couldn't it be someone who is in danger and needs your help? But at the same time, for me, it did not sound like shouts for help, but rather as a very creepy howl. And in that case, I think he did the right thing. The footage that has been captured in the sewer is incredibly intriguing and mysterious. It immediately raises questions about what kind of creature could be lurking in the depths of the sewer system. The remote machine with the camera on it provides us with a unique and rare insight into a world that is normally hidden from view. As the footage begins, we can see the remote machine slowly making its way through the dark and murky tunnels of the sewer system. It's clear that whoever is controlling the device is searching for something, but what they find is truly startling. A strange figure with glowing eyes appears to be peeking around the corner as if it is watching the device's movements. The figure is tall and slender, with an unnerving pallor to its skin. Its glowing eyes seem to be fixed on the camera, and it looks as though it is assessing 
observing the situation before it decides to move. The creature appears to be cautious and wary of the device, but as the device moves further into the sewer system, the creature becomes bolder and we get a better look at its shape and form. It is clear that this is no ordinary creature, and its appearance is enough to send chills down anyone's spine. Its movements are erratic and jerky, and it seems to be watching the device's every move. As the creature becomes more confident, it moves closer and closer to the camera. Its pale skin and glowing eyes seem to be illuminated by some unknown light source, and it looks as though it is about to pounce. But just as quickly as it appeared, the creature is scared off and runs away into the darkness. What kind of creature was that? Was it a previously undiscovered species or something even more sinister? The remote machine footage leaves us with more questions than answers, and it is clear that there is much more to be discovered in the depths of the sewer system. The video opens to the image of a dark and desolate country road. The car is stopped, as if the driver knows something up ahead is not right. Suddenly, we can see a very bizarre figure moving on all fours in the distance. It's not clear what it is, but the driver's instincts tell him to back away slowly. As the car begins to retreat, the camera zooms in on the creature, revealing a humanoid shape with a white appearance that appears to somewhat glimmer in the darkness. The creature moves with an eerie slowness and grace, its movements almost like those of a wild animal, yet it doesn't resemble any creature of the natural world. The driver is understandably terrified and keeps reversing, all while the creature continues to move slowly forward. As the creature comes into view, we can see its humanoid form more clearly with a slender body and a head that almost seems to turn and look directly at the camera. Many speculate that this creature is none other than the legendary Skinwalker, a creature that has long been associated with dark and ominous folklore. But could it be something else? Something that has never been seen before? The driver's quick retreat leaves us with more questions than answers. What was that creature? And more importantly, what did it want? This footage is from a trail camera that seems to have caught something interesting in sight. On the left side of the camera, we can see some sort of an insect being up close to the lens, inspecting the camera. It moves back and forth, perhaps trying to find a way to eat the trail cam. Could this be a spider that wanted a bit of spotlight? There is nothing unnatural about this footage. But to me, as an arachnophob, it gave me a bit of a chill seeing its legs so close to my monitor. We can see two guys filming themselves in a forest. They say that as they were heading to their truck they left on the side of the road, they thought they had spotted a bear. But as they looked closer, they saw that it was way bigger than a normal bear. And it seemed that it was walking on two legs. Because of this, they started taking this recording. They thought they are dealing with a bear because of the brown fur. But now they are not sure what exactly they saw. We can then see the footage they are talking about. A strange black or brown figure can be spotted in the forest peeking at them. Once realizing it was spotted, it started running away, with one of the guys grabbing the camera and heading towards it. He runs a while after it, while shouting for Eric, the other guy, to bring his bow. After a while, they stop running, but continuing to look around, they start to question what they actually saw. Could it have been some kind of large animal they had never seen before? Or was it something else entirely? Something more mysterious and unknown? Gasping for air? They can be heard continuously saying that was not a bear. They get quiet to listen carefully, to see if they can spot the creature again. But the creature can no longer be seen anywhere. The creature we see between the trees seems to be fully covered in fur standing on two feet given its height, and it seems to appear humanoid. So could this be the famous Bigfoot? It could as well be just fake, someone dressed in a monkey costume, running around. The video has sparked a lot of discussion and debate among Bigfoot enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Some people believe that it's undeniable proof of the creature's existence, while others remain skeptical and point to the possibility of it being a hoax set up by the two guys. But what do you think? In this trail camera footage, we can see on the right some flashes of light. We can keep looking, but we won't really understand what that is, unless we brighten the footage. Once we do that, we can make up the figure of a strange creature looking straight at the camera. Its visage is truly terrifying, 
sharp glowing eyes that keep staring at the camera. But what is more terrifying is that as the video continues, we can see the eyes changing position to a point where it seems the creature is standing tall. Could it be a dog or wolf standing on its hind legs? If it were a dog or a wolf, would it be possible to stand this tall for so long? The creature does not seem to have moved closer to the camera, considering the eyes appear the same size as before, and yet we see them a lot higher in the air. So what exactly was that? The image of the creature is blurry, and it's hard to make out its shape or size, but we can tell that it's something out of the ordinary. What you are seeing here is not an alien, but rather a very rare creature that lives in deep ocean waters called bigfin squid. The bigfin squid, also known as magnapinna, is a mysterious and enigmatic deep sea creature that has captured the imagination of many with its strange appearance and elusive behavior. This creature has been known to reach up to 23 feet in length with long spindly tentacles that can stretch up to 26 feet in length. Its body is covered in a thick layer of gelatinous flesh, making it almost translucent in appearance. What makes the big fin squid truly intriguing is the fact that it has only been seen a handful of times, despite living in the depths of the ocean. Its appearance is so rare that scientists have only managed to study it through a handful of photographs and video footage. The big fin squid's strange and mysterious appearance has led many to believe that it may be a creature from another world, or even a harbinger of doom. Some say that it may be a creature that has been lurking in the ocean's depths for centuries, waiting to reveal itself to the world at just the right moment. While we may never know the true nature of this elusive creature, its presence in our world is a constant reminder of the mysteries that still exist in the depths of our oceans, waiting to be discovered. In this video we can see some strange creature rolling around in a pit of mud. As we observe this strange creature rolling around, we can't help but wonder what kind of creature it is. It's round, ball-like shape and tentacles wriggling around are certainly not like anything we have ever seen before. If we were to remove all the dirt on it, the creature's color would possibly be white or yellowish, but what really makes it unusual is the lack of any sign of a head or mouth. Could this be some kind of unknown aquatic creature, thrown onto land and struggling to survive its last moments? It's not impossible, given the vastness and depth of our oceans and the countless undiscovered species that reside there. Or could this be something else entirely? A toy or a remote control device designed to move around in a way that mimics a living creature? Despite the unsettling and mysterious nature of the creature, the cat nearby seems unfazed and even curious about it. It follows the creature closely, perhaps intrigued by the unusual sight, but we are left with more questions than answers. What is this creature, and where did it come from? The mystery remains unsolved. The title of this video I found online is Loch Ness Monster, and immediately we can see why. In the river close to a forest we can see some creature swimming, but this is no ordinary fish, as we see it has a somewhat snake appearance, and with a big tail at the end to help it swim. We can see the same creature in different instances from this video. Given the distance of the camera, it seems the creature to be of substantial size. But is this really Nessie? The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, is a legendary creature said to inhabit Loch Ness, a deep freshwater loch in the Scottish Highlands. The existence of this creature has been a topic of debate and speculation for many years, with numerous sightings and photographs claiming to provide evidence of its existence. Many people believe that Nessie is a surviving plesiosaur, a prehistoric marine reptile that lived during the dinosaur age. The creature in this video certainly bears a resemblance to the descriptions of Nessie, 
with its long serpentine body and powerful tail. However, without a closer look or further evidence, it is impossible to say for certain whether this is actually the Loch Ness Monster or another unknown creature. An eerie tale of a buck with a strange condition has surfaced in the wilderness. This deer was caught multiple times by different trail cameras and got a lot of attention for its neck position. Photos of this deer have emerged showing it with its head tilted back and mouth open, resembling a howling wolf. People at first thought it could be some strange paranormal sight, maybe some kind of shapeshifter, but the truth might be a lot more normal and sad. Wildlife biologists speculated that the buck had a food impaction in its jaw, causing an infection that ruptured and drained, leaving a gaping wound. Due to damage caused by this, the buck is unable to swallow normally, forcing it to raise its head to swallow its food. This unusual behavior was captured in dozens of images over five days, leaving viewers in shock and awe. Will this mysterious creature survive its ailment or succumb to its wounds? Only time will tell, but truly a strange sight. The ocean holds many secrets, but none as mysterious as the sighting in this footage taken in Israel. A seemingly ordinary video of waves crashing against rocks turns into a haunting experience when a bizarre creature is spotted. The camera is fixated on a rock, and at first, it appears to be a seal. The two men filming saying that to themselves, but on closer inspection, it is something far more unusual. Suddenly, the strange figure turns around, revealing a pale, blurry face who then crawls towards the back of the rock before jumping into the sea. The two men are astonished by what they witnessed, realizing it was not a seal. If we analyze the video more closely, the mysterious figure does seem to take the form of a mermaid, a mythological creature of the sea. But could this really be a mermaid? Or is it merely a CGI effect? The possibility of this being an optical illusion is not ruled out, but the thought of a mermaid existing in our world is enough to send shivers down one's spine. The ocean is vast and full of secrets, and who knows what else may be lurking in its depths. A lady posted this video on her TikTok page and firmly believes that the creatures caught by the camera are the affirmed Bigfoot. As the video begins, we can see a creature standing behind a tree. It seems to be hiding behind the tree trunk. It can be seen peeping. At the same moment, another bipedal creature dashes from the right side. It is carrying something that looks like a basket. The woman recording claimed that these unidentified creatures could be stealing chicken that I think are hidden in the basket. One can mistake this too to be ape animals. But as we know, primates normally walk on fours and occasionally on twos. Do you notice their hunched backs and that they are enveloped in a rough coat of black hair? But at the same time, all this seems too convenient. Someone filming just as these creatures are passing by, without any of them noticing the cameraman presence. And also, their size is just too similar to a person. So I am willing to say that most likely this video is fake. Do you think the same? In this video, two teens experience a scary and unforgettable sight. As they are walking in the middle of the night for God knows what reason, they came across a white masquerade mask lying on top of some dirty rags. As they go on, they find another white mask hanging beside the trunk of a tree. These masks are pretty frightening, and one would wonder the braveness of this duo. As they continue with their walk, amidst the tall grass, a mask suddenly appears, and this time it seems to be worn by someone. This terrifies the boys and the video ends as they scamper away in fright. Could it be that someone could be pranking these lads, or something mystical was out there? Could it be some sort of cult? The security camera caught a ghostly apparition hovering above a man who went to visit a graveyard of a loved one. The footage shows the man kneeling down over the tombstone 
and the ghost appears to lean over the man's shoulders. The man does not notice the presence of the ghost, and continues mourning. Even as the man stands up and walks away, a white shadow can be spotted looming in the area. Perhaps the ghost was friendly and only came to comfort the man. Maybe a ghost of the person who this man lost, still lingering to offer comfort to him. A trail camera caught a weird sight in this forest at night. We can see a fox walking from the left, and our attention is quickly shifted to the two wide open eyes that are lurking in the darkness. Notice how alive the eyes are, and even they can be seen blinking. The fox is unaware of what is happening in its surroundings and stares innocently into the camera, its eyes glimmering in the shadows. This pair of eyes appear to be from a sort of large animal that maybe was resting and was awakened by the fox's movements. Nature is really scary. What kind of creature do you think was creeping there? This video was recorded in 2013 in the depths of the forest in Mississippi. A ranger walking in the middle of the woods, as he was surveying the area, he stumbles upon a huge beast. A dark figure is seen standing in the forest. The video has low lighting and it is hazy. Because of this, I cannot make out the details of the figure. When its physique is closely examined, the creature has a massive body frame and a thick coat of fur covering it from its head. Notice its humanoid nature as it walks bipedally amongst the trees. The man recording is persistent and keeps on chasing it, but soon stops as he realizes that he is on the heels of a Bigfoot. Others have suggested that it might be just a normal ape creature, while others have debated that this enigmatic being might be the Bigfoot. And certainly, I would agree with the latter, since to me, an ape wouldn't be this huge. An interesting spectacle is captured in a river. A mysterious, furry creature lingers in the middle of the river, standing half submerged in the water. What we are seeing is its back as it is facing the other direction. Considering the reported height of this river to be 5 to 6 feet, I think this creature might be a really tall one. As much as we are intrigued by the idea of a real Bigfoot sighting, we can't ignore the unusual physique of this specific one. It's notably leaner and slenderer than the typical descriptions of the Bigfoot. So could we be authentically looking at a Bigfoot, preferably a female kind? Or maybe is it a hoax of some kind crafted to fool its audience? The owner of this house was met by a strange sight when they went to investigate the strange noises that came from their roof. An ominous creature of abnormal shape and size was lurking on the rooftop. It appears to have an alien head that appears almost human. Due to the low light, I cannot quite make out its facial features. As for its unusual body, it has short arms and torso with no legs visible. This gives out eerie vibes since the intentions and identity of the creature are unknown. Could it be an alien entity? What could you have done if you were to find such a creature hanging around on your rooftop? This trail camera caught an incredible event in Swan Valley, Montana. A battle between two skilled scavengers, a bald eagle and a coyote. In the video, you can see the bald eagle chasing off the coyote that is trying to scuffle off with the remains of the deer's carcass. Despite the coyote having a larger size than the eagle, it is challenged by the eagle, which has a massive wingspan making it look bigger. They continue chasing each other back and forth, and at one point the coyote can be seen going off with a large chunk of meat. The video ends as this brawl continues, and we don't get to see who went away with a meteor flesh. In the remote expanse of the snowy mountains, a vigilant camera lens captures an enigmatic spectacle, a scene shrouded in both intrigue and mystery. A humanoid figure casually walking in the middle of the woods. Upon investigation, this figure has a rich coat of fur enveloping its entire form. 
Notice how its arms are long, almost reaching its knees. It has a near upright posture, thus possessing the known characteristics of the Bigfoot. It's possible to consider the alternative perspective of the observed figure might have been a person donning a Bigfoot costume. This interpretation introduces an element of skepticism into the equation, suggesting the potential for intentional misrepresentation. A man in the snowy mountains claims to have come across the Bigfoot walking. At first, it looks like a normal man scaling the snowy landscape, but notice how abnormally large this figure is. It is unusual for a man to be of that size. As it moves forward, we get to see its odd walking style. When closely analyzed, the creature appears to have a thick black and white fury body, although the white could be snow stuck on its fur. This bizarre scene is bound to rouse up speculations as to whether the creature could be a possible Bigfoot. In this video, we get to see the dark side of nature in a suburban neighborhood in Randolph, Massachusetts. A flock of turkeys is seen circling around the carcass of a dead cat. The cause of its death is unknown. What's more disturbing is that more and more turkeys emerge from the woods and join the flock. Why are the turkeys surrounding it? The viewed birds seem to be conducting a ritual of some sort, maybe paying tribute to the dead feline. This family was out enjoying Mother Nature when they detect something prowling not far from where they were. The recorder at once swings his camera to the strange creature's direction, and there it is. Something or someone seems to be watching them in the tall grass. At first you can't make out what it is, but once the video is stabilized, the creature can be defined. It is an all-black figure, as if covered by fur. Look at its hunched posture and bipedal stance. Many people have suggested this to be none other than the Bigfoot itself. Could have this family run into the Sasquatch. What do you think? This video is recorded by someone in a police station who happened to see the weird behavior of this officer. He is seen standing in the hallway, making gestures as if he's speaking to someone but there is obviously no one there. We can see his hand gestures, as if trying to explain something. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to a uh, lady. I saw her walking by the store, and uh, she said she's looking for Mr. Griffin. Her name is Miss Abigail. Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. She says she wants to see Mr. Griffin, and I told her that uh, the canvas is closed, that she should come tomorrow morning, and she might see Mr. Griffin. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for two years now. Am I here with that, please? Miss Abigail is she she died two years ago. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? No, there's nobody in front of you at all. <laughs> the lady reaches out to the police officer, asking, Who is he talking to? He responds saying that he's talking to a lady named Abigail who is looking for someone. The lady apparently knows who he is talking to because she immediately tells him the lady has passed two years ago. The officer asks if she cannot see on camera who he is talking to, Miss Abigail apparently still being there. The moment he realizes what is going on, he begins backing off, turning into a full sprint to get the heck out of there. I think we've all heard about situations like this one where someone is met by a friendly visitor, perhaps asking for help, and only after the fact do we realize they were never there. As this video begins, all seems to be normal in this spooky place. 
Then suddenly, a very scary creature walks out from behind the tree, and its form is rather unearthly. It appears humanoid, though having a thin frame and an elongated head like that of an alien. It has a short stature, and it walks bipedally while bending its back. What's unsettling is that its arms are extended and reach the ground. See how thin the arms are and look like long rods. These arms look to be the ones supporting its body. What exactly is this unearthly being? Maybe a modified version of the Skinwalker, or this could be just an edited video. The owner of this house must have been really shocked when she saw this video the following morning. A security camera shows us the kitchen of where a series of disturbing events take place. A perturbing sound of unknown origin is heard as though something was rustling about in the dishes. Then suddenly, the cupboards fly open and the cutlery are heard banging all over the place. What's frightening is that no one seems to be in the kitchen and all these happen supernaturally. This place is undoubtedly haunted by a very daunting ghost, and they better vacate early before situations erupt. This heart-stopping footage of an unknown creature amidst the tall grasses was captured by a brave man walking in the middle of the night for unknown reasons. As he shines his flashlight in a particular direction, he stops when he notices a pale figure looming in the tall grassland. It appears to be squatted on something facing downwards. I think it could be feasting on remains of a carcass. As he zooms in, suddenly the creature lifts its head up, revealing two otherworldly eyes which glare at the man hauntingly and eerily. This really spooks the man. This creature is pretty scary and I would not want to encounter one face to face. From past recorded incidents, this creature resembles the rake, a cryptid known to stalk and terrorize people. We can see the recording from someone who is driving their motorcycle behind an ambulance, perhaps going to an emergency. Based on the writing on the ambulance, I think this might be India. The camera quickly pans towards the right, where we can see a dense forest. But more terrifying, there is something lurking in the bushes. As he advances, he can see a lion creepily staring back at him. His quick thinking makes him go next to the ambulance, in order have it act as a shield. We can see the lion keeps its stare on the man, and I am sure if he was alone. Without those two other vehicles, he would have been the lion's next meal. These lions have become more and more confident around humans. The lion attack on humans, especially in India, increasing dramatically in recent years. On the bear topic, also this trail camera caught a stunning montage. A bear with her cubs can be seen passing. They reach a certain tree that seems to have fascinated them. They start sniffing the tree and even the mama bear is prompted to stand on its two legs. Can you see the height of this beast? The bear strolls away, leaving the two cubs who are still excited by the tree. As they explore, they all at once start scratching their backs with the tree. Their movements are funny, and it is as if they appear to be dancing. This scene is truly remarkable. These people were traveling on an almost empty road at night when they see something amazing walking around. A gigantic moose just strolling on the grass between the two lanes. Hey there, bud. No, I'm not gonna touch you. Hey there, bud. Just look at how enormous this animal is. Even the other driver backs away their car in order to get a better view of the moose. What amazes me about this encounter is just how relaxed the moose is. These creatures are usually a lot more aggressive and do not feel so at home next to cars and humans. So I'm not sure what is wrong with this particular moose, but I'm sure that was a thrilling experience for all the drivers who got to witness it. This video was recorded in Chile, 
A guy set up a camera to record two fast-moving cars racing on the highway. And as the cars flew by the camera, captures a rather peculiar sight. After the cars pass, a dog suddenly appears in the middle of the road and crosses the safely to the end of the road. What's odd is that the dog wasn't seen crossing from the other side of the road. Rather, it just appeared in the middle just as the cars pass. This clip has sparked imagination on viewers. How did the dog manage to safely cross the road without being hit? To me, this could be a glitch in the footage. What do you think? Could this be a dog spirit that happened to have been captured by the camera, or an actual dog that escaped being hit by a narrow whisker? A security camera happens to have caught a ghostly apparition in a pub in the UK. As the restaurant waiter was cleaning up at night, a white shadowy figure appears at the door of the restaurant and appears to be closely following the waiter. The waiter doesn't seem to notice the ghost and goes by her duties normally, although in an interview she said she felt the presence of someone with her in the pub. What's more is that the pub has had more than one ghostly encounter all happening in the night. Could this be the ghost of a girl that was a frequent visitor of this pub or a simple camera glitch? If you want to see more strange and amazing footage, then watch this.